Hey guys, I'm back. Been a long time, but great to be back. I've had a very busy summer. So today we're going to talk about loops. Uh, we'll list through the companies that sell them, at least the major companies that sell them, some of the price points. Do you buy them in school? Do you wait till after? Um, we'll talk about the different materials. Do you buy a light? Do you not buy a light? What are the benefits? What are the, what are the bad things that could happen from wearing loops? So let's just, let's talk about all of it. So to start out, there are seven major companies that sell loops. You can buy loops on Amazon. You can buy loops all over the place. Uh, to get a true good dental loop though, these are kind of the companies you should look for. Um, designs for Vision, which are these. Those are my favorite favorite, I guess, for now. Um, <laughs> Lumident, Sheer Vision, Orscoptic, Patterson, Henry Shine, and Surgitel. So the ones that I've dealt with are the Orscoptics, the Sheer Vision, and the Designs for Vision. Those are the three major ones that came to my school when I was in school. Those are the ones I see the most at the dental conventions. Uh, so we're going to talk about them for the most part today because I'm more familiar with their stuff. Uh, if you don't like any of their stuff, no big deal, find what works for you. Okay, so let's talk about frames for starters. There are several types of frames. Um, I would say the most popular currently is the sports frame. These are sports frames. You can see they've got kind of the protection around the sides, which is good. They're usually a lighter weight material, um, so they don't pull so heavy on your face, and you get really cool colors with those. Um, I decided to go with the sports frame mostly because you didn't need the side shields for OSHA and because they were a little more lightweight than some of the heavier like the titanium frames or the aluminum frames or I don't know I just I liked them and kind of what it fits your face too obviously you want to go for what's going to look good and what you can wear for the next however many years. So sports frames some of the other frames are I call them the Where's Waldo frames. Um, and I will put some pictures in. They're, they're also very popular. I personally hate them, but some people look really good in them. So uh, they'll, I'll throw some pictures in so you can kind of see some of the different types of frames. So different materials, you've got your plastic, you've got your different types of metals, um, your titanium, your aluminum. But they have Lots of fun colors. So I went red because I'm usually, I, I wear a lot of black and I just needed a little color. So I picked red, but there are purples and pinks and blues and you know, guy, girl, doesn't matter. They've got everything. Black is super popular. If you go with the metals, obviously you got your metal color. Okay, so magnification. These are, I think these are 2.5. I don't actually remember. I've had these for three years now, so I don't actually remember what I got. They're either a 2.5 or a three. I think they're a 2.5. So loops tend to run from 2.5 to about 4.5, depending on the company. And within each company, they're different. A 2.5 in a Designs for Vision is going to be completely different than the 2.5 for the Sheer Vision or the Oroscoptic or the Henry Shine or it doesn't matter. They're, they're all going to be a little different. Um, so when you go to try them on, go to each of the companies, like if you're at an exhibit hall, go to each of them and, and, and compare them. So you can say, oh, well, at the Designs for Vision, the, the tooth was this big, but at the Sheer Vision, it's this big, or even whatever, because they're all going to be a little different. But just so you know, there's a, quite the range. So the 2.5 is probably the most popular, especially for hygienists. You're allowed about, you're seeing about this much of the face with those. So it really pulls it in, but it's not like one tooth where you're, it's like a 4.5 is really you're looking at one particular tooth. That's great if you're doing surgical, if you're doing endo. It's a little much if you're doing hygiene. Um, so 2.5 to 3, 3.5 maybe. Um, I wouldn't probably go beyond that. Again, mine are 2.5. I figured this field of view is really all I need. So the different types of uh, loops, they have the through the lens, which is what these are, where they're actually built in to the lens. Uh, and then they have the flip ups, which sit on the frame and then flip up over the top. Like if you're wanting to talk to your patient, you can flip your loops up so you can talk to them. You don't have this thing where you're kind of looking around it. Um, so those are really your two types. I decided to go with these because for me, it's just easy enough to be able to talk to you and look around them. I know that light is very, 
But anyway, to be able to talk to you over them works well. Um, if I need to talk to a patient, I'm, you know, I can kind of eyeball them from the side. Can you see that? Not really. <laughs> the glare is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I, I, you can see what I need to see without having to touch them. And I figure the, the least amount of touching I can do where I'm cross contaminating stuff with saliva is probably better. So for me, these are perfect. So price points for just the glasses, um, run about $450 to over a thousand dollars. Um, it depends again on the company, the style, the type of material you're using. Is it a flip up or through the lens? You're kind of building them as you go when you pick your company. So what you do is you pick your company because of, you know, based on whatever style they like or what you, well, yes, style you like. Uh, and then you build from there and that will change your price point. And so I can't say, well, if you buy these, they're going to be this much because it needs to be based on, do you have a prescription in your lens? Oh, that's gonna add extra money. Are you gonna use a light with it? That's gonna add extra money. So there are add-ons. It's not just the loops when you're buying these. So something to keep in mind is to have a pretty big budget when you go to look for these. So let's talk about lighting real quickly. Um, I decided to go with um, a little light that actually clips onto these. So, well, actually, I'll show you what that looks like. So it's just a little, a little guy here. And I love this thing. It's amazing. Um, it's, it's like having that headlamp when you're cam camping, except of course the this is much nicer. Um, it's not super big, so it's not really, like I don't notice it because I'm looking down through these anyway, so I can see it, but you know. But anyway, you, you have it and then you'll put it where you want it. And the nice thing is wherever you're looking, it's following you. You're not having to reach up and like grab your lamp and crank it around. You, you've got your light right there. I use both, I do use the, the headlamp or the overhead lamp. Um, and then my loops, uh, the lamp in my room is very warm. These are cool. So I get a really nice in between more of a true color. Um, so it helps me to spot tartar and stuff better. It's also really good with shade matching if I'm helping the doctor with his shade matching. So I really, I like those. So these have, these are corded and it just plugs in here and then you wear the battery pack. So I have two of these that way I've got one charging at all times. And then the other one is... Ugh, usually on me um, problems you can find with these which we'll go over in a minute about problems is I had one of these already short out and this is my second one and I'm now having trouble with this one or it's the battery packs so I'm not actually sure this week I haven't been able to wear my light this week it's very kind of obnoxious so looking into that but um, overall this is the cheaper option than the wireless they make a wireless one and now I guess they make a wireless that's an infrared where you can just pass your hand over it so you're not having to like twist or push on anything which is cool because again cross-contamination you don't want to be touching people's mouths and then like smearing your light and then going to the next person you got to clean that off in between and heaven knows we have enough things to clean as it is between patients so I don't really need to add extra stuff um, so this, I can just like hit that with my elbow. I usually tack it onto the back, back of my jacket or something and I can just whack it with my elbow and turn things on that way I'm not touching it. And lights run from about $595 to $895. Again, depending on the company, depending on the type. Is it gonna be the wired? Is it gonna be the wireless? Is it gonna be the infrared? Obviously your price points are gonna go. So do you buy before you go to school? Do you buy in school? Do you buy after school? I purchased after school. I probably should have purchased in school. If I would go back and do it again, I would purchase in school. So I went, of my 12 years of hygiene, I worked nine years without loops. Um, just the last three years I've had them. Part of me thinks that was good because I learned to really look and feel um, and clean very well without them. But once I had them, it's been so much easier to see everything, to feel everything, to remove everything. It's just, it's, it's better. So get them for sure, but get them maybe in school where you can use your school loans or they give you really good student deals. Um, again, I bought mine at a convention a couple years ago, but I would get them. I wouldn't get them before school because you do need to be sized and you need to know your working distance. So where are your patients going to be sitting in your lap? is super key to where your loops are placed in the lenses um, and you need some practice time so maybe buy them your senior year of hygiene your your second year of hygiene 
uh, where you're kind of comfortable, you've been working on patients for a while, you kind of know where you want the patient to sit so you can they can measure that, have your working length in the loop and you're not short or too, you know, you, you don't want to spend all this money and then not actually have them work when you get to school. Sorry, I'm rambling. So benefits to wearing loops, you can see, which is amazing. Uh, again, the lighting is better if you get the light, which I highly, re highly recommend getting a light. Ergonomics are definitely improved. You're able to sit upright and really see without having to like crank over and, and look and try and see what you're doing. I, I find myself sitting upright way more, especially with the light, than I used to, which has really been helping with my shoulders and my hands and everything. Um, your perio charting and your scaling are definitely improved as well. Drawbacks to wearing. Um, kids can sometimes be afraid of these, especially the new little kids who've never been before. You put these big things on, they can't see your eyes. Um, that can sometimes freak them out. It's something to keep in mind that you will have to introduce the kids to what you're wearing um, because they've never seen it before and your eyes look huge in them from what they see and they're like blinking at them and it kind of freaks them out. Not seeing this and this is key when you're giving injections or when you're um, doing a lot of stuff really even when you're just talking to them they want to be able to see you and you kind of want to be able to see them so that is kind of a drawback you're kind of having to look down and over the top of your loops or kink your head over to kind of say hi um, other than that though I, I still think they're worth it some of the models are really hard to keep clean um, these sports frames, the nose piece on them grabs a lot of my makeup and that to me is really gross. So if I would get a new set, I would probably get something with a little different. These are good because they are very light on my nose. They don't push hard. Um, they stay, but they do grab a lot of makeup. So I'm always worried about kind of contaminating and, and getting like zits or something in here, which I really haven't, but I do try and keep them really clean. Depending on the frame you get, they can be very heavy. Um, always get the little pull thing, so you like pull it tight um, to keep it on your head. But even then, some of those frames are super heavy. Again, that's why I went with a sports frame. Um, but that's just adding tension to your neck and shoulders and you know where you don't need it. And you're putting your head down anyway, and then to have something kind of pulling on your face can be uh, tiring by the end of the day. It does take, it took me, hmm, Probably about two weeks, I would say, to get, you know, with, with eight patients a day, to get used to them when I started wearing them. I was really scared at first to, like, stab somebody because you can't see your hands. You reach, you're reaching over and you're kind of grabbing off your tray and then you're trying to find the patient's mouth without, like, stabbing them in the cheek with your instrument. Um, so it takes a little practice to kind of know where you are um in space without being able to really see it because of course once you're in there then all of a sudden everything is really big but you get used to it and you'll never go back so overall do i recommend getting them absolutely look around talk to a bunch of different reps try on a bunch decide where you want your you know how much magnification you want of course know your working distance how you know where those patients are going to sit and get them sized for you. Make sure that they size them to the width of your pupils. They will have you sit and stare at something and then they like size your pupils. Um, so the loops will always be right where you're looking. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any comments, if you wear loops, if you don't wear loops, why and why not? I'd love to know more about your perspective. Like what, if you're wearing them, what's your favorite company and what is your style? Do you wear the sport frames? Do you wear the other types of frames? Why? Um, I'm kind of curious as to like what other people wear and why. Um, and then if you're, you know, thinking about getting loops, was this helpful for you? Please let me know. Uh, have an awesome week. I've got some more videos planned coming up, hopefully soon. Again, it's been super busy. I've got birthday parties and self-defense classes and just crazy stuff going on the next couple of weeks. But I will try and get some more videos out as soon as I can. Like and subscribe. Again, super good to see you guys all again. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.